Welcome to Miami. We are here at the Pulse Art Fair with Liz Parks. What brings you to Miami? I have come to Miami to source works for my clients. I'm an art advisor based in New York and I have clients all over the United States. Pulse is a really great contemporary art fair. There's a little bit of something for everyone here and this is where I like to start with for some of the collectors that I work with. Wonderful. Well, we're so excited. Let's go and check it out. I'm wondering, could you tell me a little bit about the process and um, in particular the algorithm that Sam works on with this work? Sure. Uh, Sam basically starts with a blank sheet of paper. So he would lie the paper on the snow and overnight he would wash it with black ink, completely cover it for about a week and it would freeze at night. Once the paper is sort of saturated with ink, he takes a, a white pen, starts in the middle here and essentially draws four triangles. From there he doubles that to make a rectangle. He then doubles that to make a square. As a result, you get this ever-expanding white line that's essentially done by hand. The ink wash itself takes about a week. The white drawing probably took Sam about two months to do. We're here to look at the work of a young artist who I love, Sarah Hardesty. Charlie, can you tell me a little bit more about the relationship between the hanging sculpture in the back and the, the work on panel? It almost looks like they have nothing to share, and yet what you get from both is this sense of tension. It's almost claustrophobic. You get an effect where you're not sure whether you're supposed to enter the space, you're not sure whether this whole thing is going to come tumbling down on you. There is a, a tension, but at the same time there's something liberating about the work. It feels explosive and expansive, and I, I just, I absolutely love it. Here at Pulse, we have a solo booth of work by Sharon Loudon, who's a New York-based artist. I have painting, sculpture, animation, and works on paper. Sharon's imagery, or her characters, if you will, are consistent throughout all her media. 20-some years ago, when I was going to school, I was a figurative painter. And then I broke the figure down into these lines that I've been using for many years and trying to give them character in different forms. What I love to do is to explore these forms and to create some sense of beauty or whimsy through the work that you see here. seeing a lot of artists that are really starting to hit their stride and experimenting with some new cutting-edge technology in terms of internet art, video art, and different editing procedures as well. Uh, we have some really great pieces all over the fair. I'm really pleased with it. Well, thank you so much. We've had such a great time here. Thank you. Ovation is the only network dedicated to all forms of art 